to this Eucharistic celebration. Since the Mass will begin shortly, may I please invite everyone to take their seat. Thank you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Kindly note, that, kindly note that photographs taken at this Eucharistic celebration may be used for our publicity purposes. At the end of Mass, before the concluding hymn, group photos of the brothers and followed by the chairpersons of the governing boards and priests and the principles will be taken at the steps of the altar with the Archbishop. The concluding hymn will then follow after the photo taking. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. This Mass is celebrated in thanksgiving to the Lord for the arrival of the Sao brothers to Singapore and Asia and their Ministry of Education since 29 March today, 1852 till 2022. The many brothers and Lasallian educators have contributed so much to the education of youth in many countries in this region. The procession into the cathedral will include the banner of the founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle, followed by the flags of the eight schools, namely St. Anthony's Primary School, De La Salle School, St. Joseph's Institution Independent, St. Joseph's Institution International, High School and Elementary, St. Joseph's Institution Junior, St. Patrick's School, St. Stephen's School, and La Salle College of the Arts. Hope House is also represented with a framed picture.
kindly stand for the entrance procession. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, confess to Almighty to God, God, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and, and in my, my words. words in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I failed to, to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, saints, and you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray.
O God who chose St. John Baptist de La Salle to educate young Christians, raise up, we pray, educators in your church ready to devote themselves wholeheartedly to the human and Christian formation of the young. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and, sorry. A reading from the second letter of Timothy. Keep at your work this faith and love rooted in Christ, exactly as I set it out for you. Guard this precious thing placed in your custody by the Holy Spirit who works in us. So, my son, throw yourself into this work for Christ. Pass on what you have heard from me, the whole congregation saying, Amen to reliable leaders who are competent to teach others. As a good follower of Jesus Christ, suffer together with me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, Blessed are the just who revere the Lord. Blessed are the just who revere the Lord. Blessed are those who revere the Lord and delight in God's commandments. Their descendants will be powerful in the land. The generation of the just will be blessed. Blessed are the just who revere the Lord. Wealth and riches are in their house, and their justice stands firm forever. Light rises in the darkness for the just, who is gracious, merciful, and honest. Blessed are the just to revere the Lord. All goes well for those who lend generously and conduct their affairs with justice. For all time to come, the just will not stumble, for all time to come, they will be remembered. Blessed are the just to revere the Lord. Please rise. Together, praise and honour, honour and glory. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever among you is the greatest will be your servant, says the Lord. Whoever is humbled shall be exalted. Praise and honour, honour and glory. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew.
the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called and placed a child in their midst and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please, Please remain speak. standing. Please be seated. My dear Reverend Fathers, Tassal Brothers, Benefactors, committee members of the Board of Management, teachers, staff, and friends. Today, as we all know, we are gathered here to celebrate the 170th anniversary of the arrival of the La Salle brothers in Singapore. The brothers who came to Singapore 170 years ago came in faith and in love. Upon arriving here, we know they established St. Joseph Institution that just across the road. And most of all, as we commemorate this 170th anniversary, we also remember that one of the brothers actually have been buried in this cathedral. The theme of this 170th anniversary celebration is Dream as the Way Forward, proposed by you all. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, if we want to achieve any great things in life, any meaningful work that we do, we need to have dreamers people who are willing to dream dreams. Unless every organization has the courage to dream dreams, to have a clear vision of what they want to arrive at, nothing can be done. And there'll be no progress, simply because very often, the institution becomes just on the level of maintenance. And that is why we're here this afternoon to celebrate the dream that our forefathers had, the LaSalle brothers, and how we continue to dream this dream for ourselves in today's context. This dream began with Father John Burrell when he came to this cathedral to start the Catholic mission. His dream was to spread the gospel. But what better way to spread the gospel in a society where there were hardly any Catholics or Christians? It has always been the way of charity, and education. And it was because of his realization that there is no other way to proclaim the gospel than through works of charity and education that he brought three LaSalle brothers to Singapore and also accompanied the IJ sisters as well. Father John Burrell, he understood that education is the means by which we sow the seed of the gospel, and especially in the young. Today, we are living in very challenging situation. 
those of us who are in preschool education, and even for the normal academic education of our older students, the standards are set very high. And many religious organizations, not just Catholics alone, are struggling to maintain the preschools because of the high standards that have been set by the Ministry of Education. And yet, we all try to persevere to continue this preschool in our churches, in our parishes. And simply because faith and formation is best given when they are young. And it is for this reason that Father John Burrell brought in Catholic educators to educate the young. When the young receive the seed of faith, not only they will be converted to Christ, even if not at the point of time, but many years down the road. If you don't believe, if you ask our catechumens today, three quarters of our catechumens have encountered Jesus in some kind of Catholic environment, especially in our Catholic schools. The first point of contact. And not only the young are converted, even their non-Catholic parents are being influenced or come to know Jesus through them. That is why in today's gospel, Jesus made it clear that the greatest in the kingdom of heaven is a child. We must become childlike. Children are docile. They are ready to learn, to acquire new knowledge, new skills. And that is the reason why also for those of us who have responsibility over children, by our words, by our examples, we can help them to realize their potentials and become holistic people in society, or we can also destroy them. The grave responsibility entrusted to us in looking after the children given under our care. And it is because of this conviction that formation of young people is the key to spread the gospel. The Lassau brothers came to Singapore to bring the gospel because they realized that forming the young in faith, in virtues, and not just academic knowledge alone will help them. As their founder, John the Baptist de La Salle, underscore that they will come to know a loving God. And I think it's very important to underscore this because all Catholic missions, including education, the primary purpose was actually not just to form our people to be educated, to excel in academic knowledge alone, but to help them to become people who can contribute to society, but most of all, to come to know Jesus, to know God. It is from a faith dimension, a faith perspective, That is the reason why it is so important for us as Catholic educators, as St. Paul tells us in today's second reading, keep at your work this faith and love rooted in Christ exactly as I set it out for you. Guard this precious thing placed in your custody by the Holy Spirit who works in us. If we Catholic educators are not imbued with the gospel, if we ourselves do not have an intimate relationship with the Lord, it would be very difficult for us to transmit the gospel 
not just in words, but even in our own daily life, in our examples. So, I would like to urge all of you who are collaborators with the LaSalle brothers to nurture your faith, to take your faith strongly because young people are inspired not by what we say, but how we lift out our Catholic faith. And this is very important because if our Catholic educators themselves lack a personal relationship with the Lord, then the Catholic education, the mission becomes just an ideology. It is reduced to mere performance, passing of knowledge. But that is not what is sufficient. Because at the end of the day, as Catholics, we are not only concerned about the human growth of a person, the intellectual growth, but also the spiritual life of that person. And that is the reason why also we are very happy and delighted that the Lassau brothers over these years have shown the importance of the values that you all ascribe to of faith, service, and community. These are the Lassau values that hold you all together. Faith comes first, faith, and then service, and then community. As Catholic educators, following the, your founder, it is important, therefore, that the faith be strong, and most of all, that we help our young people to grow in authentic service to each other. But service must begin with us. Again, as I've said, young people are looking for witnesses. Teachers, not just in words. Whether our teachers, our collaborators themselves have demonstrated what it means to be committed to Jesus and to be committed to them. And through the LaSalle schools have produced many educators and leaders in community today. And we are very grateful for all the work that the LaSalle brothers have done for our people. And for that reason too, LaSalle have eight schools and one school or one uh, residential house of hope. And we pray that this will continue to grow and to flourish. But my dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul also reminds us, so my son, throw yourself into this work for Christ. Pass on what you have heard from me. And the whole congregation saying amen to reliable leaders who are competent to teach others. We all know very well that religious life, religious brothers and sisters, including priests, we are almost a dying breed. And it is important that if the La Salle mission were to continue, we need to have more vocations to the LaSalle brothers. Those of you who feel called and moved by what the LaSalle brothers are doing or have been doing for the community, the Lord could be calling you to respond generously and to help the community to grow. It is true that our lay people Today, I'm more involved in the work of collaboration with religious brothers. Personally, as the bishop, I think, left to the laity alone, they will be sheep without shepherds. If the religious brothers cannot continue the mission, 
how could the laity continue the mission down the road 50, 100 years from now? That is why it is important that we need to pray and encourage more religious vocations to the Lasau brothers so that this work can continue. During this time of the pandemic or during this generation, I think all the more, we need to have good Catholic educators because the challenges facing our young, they are really, really bewildering. Many of our young people today, they don't have good mentors for them to follow. Many of them are confused by, this, uh, by the trends in the world. They cannot find answer to all those questions that today the modern person is asking. And I think the Lasau brothers have to show the way, have to find new ways of engaging our young people. That is why I say we need to dream new dreams. I think the challenge for LaSalle brothers today, as for all the other Catholic schools, how do we connect with our children, with our young people in today's context? How do we preserve them in the gospel values? I think this is the most challenging thing that we are called to do. And I pray that God will be with you and God will continue to bless you mightily in the work that you are doing. Amen. Please stand for the general intercessions. Dear brothers and sisters, gather as one to celebrate the good news we have received from our God. Let us ask him to promise in prayers that are worthy of his hearing. For our church, that the unity we celebrated for our 200 years remind us to continue our efforts to form a church that is vibrant, evangelizing, and missionary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for Singapore and the world, for the many who have passed on and the many who are coping with wars, natural disasters and COVID-19. Grant us the strength and support to help those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Lasallian family in Singapore, that we continue to look for opportunities with eyes of faith to better serve the community we are in. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our spirit of community be nurtured so that within our educational institutions, we build each other up and grow together to be more like Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you may bless and reward the many men and women, both those who have died and those who continue to work for the Lasallian mission in Singapore and Asia. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we receive from your mercy what we cannot ask of confidence in our own merits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Deign to accept, O Lord, the gift of your people in honour of St. John Baptist de La Salle. Grant that participation in this mystery may help us to express in our daily life the power of your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting we restrain our thoughts, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise Your Majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on the soul, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, be Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, the La Salle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave to you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please note that Holy Communion is for baptized Catholics only.
Let us pray. O God, you have satisfied us with the bread of life. Granted through the example of St. John Baptist de La Salle, we draw down the fullness of wisdom and goodness and knowledge in your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated, as Brother Nicholas would like to offer a few words of thanks. On behalf of the, of the De La Salle brothers, our grateful thanks to our holy founder, who reminds us that our educational mission is the Lord's work. In this spirit, our thanks to His Grace, Archbishop William Goh, for his continuing support for our mission. The priests who are present, our alumni priests, and those who help us in our schools. The many La Salian partners, both Catholic and non-Catholic, who serve in our schools from chairmen of our governing bodies, school leaders, educators, parents, and alumni organizations. Also thanks to everyone who helped today, from the cathedral staff and volunteers, and all those who helped organize this Eucharistic celebration. Thank you. I also take this occasion to once again to offer my thanks and gratitude on behalf of the whole church and also the people in Singapore for all the good work that the brothers have done over the last 170 years of helping our people to be educated in a very holistic manner and to be contributive to society. I'm sure a lot of sacrifices have been done uh, by our forefathers and especially those of us who are your collaborators. We are truly grateful for the work you are doing and I pray that uh, La Salle mission will continue to grow and flourish. Um, there will be more what we call vocation as well. Oh, by the way, I must also thank the La Salle brothers. Uh, other than the Monfort brothers, uh, the Monfort uh, brothers, the Gabriel brothers, uh, La Salle brothers have produced a good number of local priests in Singapore. I think you are the one, the highest uh, number of priests that have been formed under the La Salle brothers. And we are very grateful that you not only uh, grow in terms of your own local vocation for the brothers, but also for the archdiocese. And we know that all this because you have planted the seed of faith in them. And so I wish you all the, the best and we continue to assure you of our support and of our uh, press for the mission that you are engaged in. So thank you to all, one and all, and thank you so much, and may the Lord bless you. And I also want to say something, Brother Nicholas, I knew him when I was a very young priest in Holy Cross. He was in charge of the Legion, very dynamic brother, always uh, promoting the Legion of Mary. And he came to, I was in Holy Cross Church, a very young priest. Huh? And then uh, he was the one who came to help our Legion of Mary members from Singapore Polytechnic. They were having meeting in Holy Cross. Huh? And he was the one who came to help us to grow that, uh, the presidium in Singapore Polytechnic. I have very fond memories of uh, Brother Nicholas, a very humble man, and a man very dedicated to our Lord and our Blessed Mother. Thank you, Brother Nicholas, for your leadership. Thank you. Let us stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Bow down for the blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption they have celebrated and grant its members the perseverance to attain the effects that flow from them through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.